Guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Lago Fam SRT. Today, I'm gonna to be doing something that I've been waiting to do for a few months. The piece finally came in last week. I told you guys in the video, I was gonna be changing the hood. Today is that day. So we're gonna be changing the hood. No more of this SRT hood that comes on the Trackhawk. That also now comes on the Limited X. It's gonna be different. It's gonna change. But the question is, what is it gonna to change to? So I got the new hood in the trunk. We're here in Queens. Got a nice little view for you guys today. It's LaGuardia Airport over there to the left. We're at the marina. All right guys, so now we're gonna change the old hood on the car. We're gonna pop the hood. We're gonna take it off, put on the new hood. It's gonna, we're gonna, hopefully it looks the way I want it to. I'm excited to show you guys what I got. But um, yeah, so one thing first, let's take off the old hood. Hood. Okay. All right, so here I got a 13 inch, or is, is that an inch? 13 inch? 13. It's a 13. <laughs> it's a 13, whatever a 13 is. Centimeters? So here we go. I already disconnected the windshield wiper um, thing right here. I did that um, earlier today. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. I might get a relocation kit. I might just keep it here. Um, I mean, not here What's per se. Relocation kit? relocation kit will kind of put it on the windshield wipers. Oh. That way it kind of still shoots up. I mean, I don't really use the liquid anyway, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet, but we'll figure that out later. Okay. Right now, we're gonna try to take these bolts off of here. I'm just gonna loosen them up because I'm gonna need Brooke to help me, but um, right now I'm just gonna loosen this up and, uh, you know, we'll start with that. So this is actually getting tight. So let's get this loose a little bit. All right. Left the loosey. good this on this side you excited to see what the hood's gonna look like yeah i have no idea but um she doesn't know anything about demons no. <laughs> yeah yeah i heard demon but i'm like what are you lying but i'm excited to get out of our living room because it's been in our living room for right, that should be good for now too long, so. and then now i'm gonna get a wrench and try to take this off Go. Alright, I'm doing some. I don't know. Keep your hand on the hood though, no? You don't have that thing to keep it up? Or that is a thing? Yeah, it is coming loose. I think. I think it's coming loose. I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. I think it is. So, Alright, so now we're going to have to prop it because you're going to have to help me hold it. Alright guys, so to remove this part, you know, that keeps it up, it was a 13 millimeter wrench that took that off. So, just make sure you have that. Um, so the hood's now off, now we're going to show you what the new hood looks like. This is a demon style hood that I got from Black Ops. Here's the hardware. So it comes with this plastic piece that covers basically the demon slot. I'm going to be taking that off right now.
All right, guys, so we finally got the hood on. It took a little while to adjust it because you got to line up the part, I mean, the, like the lines of it. You don't want too much of a gap on either side. I think so far we did a good job. Actually, I'll kind of show you guys what it looks like right now. So coming down, it's pretty damn good. It hits a little bit, unfortunately, in that back corner. I'm going to have to get it grinded down a little bit. Um, I know aftermarket hoods, they're never perfect. So I'm going to have to get that grinded down a little bit. It hits a little bit. It kind of chipped the, fi um, the carbon fiber a little bit. But um, I don't know. That's kind of what you expect when you get an aftermarket hood. So right now it's pretty decent. I'm going to try to bolt everything back on, get the thing set up, and then I'll show you what the end product looks like. All right. Finally got the hood installed. It took a little bit of time, um, but here you go. So this is the bottom of the hood. I got it fiber, fiberglass black. See these things here, they actually put this for you. So if you wanna do LED lights, which I actually do plan on doing, I wanna have some lights in the engine bay. I'm just gonna leave these here for now, just in case I wanna fish another wire through or use these. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But this is the bottom of the hood. So here you go, you see the old clasp from the old hood, new bolts from Black Ops, uh, new bolts on each side. Um, and yeah, I just got to figure out what I'm going to do with this for right now. I'll just keep it there, I guess for now, um, put back the hydraulic. This thing took a little bit. It was a little bit of a pain in the ass, but I put it back on and then now it's time to see what it looks like. And there you go, guys. Look at that. Whew. That looks nice. Ooh, that looks really nice. Time to do a little B-roll. Right, guys as you can see we put on the new hood i think it looks amazing i've seen a few demon hoods from like SC, uh, scl uh global i believe that's a company in russia a lot of people order from there uh renegade design does some and um who else does a couple of uh demon hoods uh serona design but um honestly something about this black ops hood it kind of looks like the original demon hood that comes on the demon like the same size hood scoop and everything and it really attracted me and plus the carbon fiber it looks so sick so that's why i went with this option and honestly i think i made a good choice honestly it looks so good i just want to say i appreciate you guys for checking out the video thanks for watching uh stay tuned to the next one peace